Last Epoch is a beautiful game, but all beautiful things have flaws. Now there is exactly one note in the game that I know in certain circumstances absolutely bricks the game regardless of how good your PC is, regardless of how the servers uh, feel at any point in time. This one node in the Chaos Bolt skill tree has the potential to put you in a situation where you are inevitably going to die. So we're playing a Chthonic Fissure build and we get the node that converts a lot of the spirits that Chthonic Fissure releases to convert them into Chaos Bolt. So we also spec into the Chaos Bolt skill tree because those Chaos Bolts spawn from Chthonic Fissure scale off of the Chaos Bolt skill tree. Now you'll see here, let's, let's just wait a moment. There's an aura around a few of these scorpions that means nearby allies take less damage. Now you can see a lot of the damage numbers on screen are like 10, 11, 12, 12. Very small numbers for this point in the game and that's because they're taking much less damage. Now we have to talk about one particular node and then we'll see the effect of it shortly here as you can see the game stuttering a lot. This one node gives Chaos Bolts a chance to recast itself. And so when there are hundreds of enemies on screen, all not dying, all being able to be hit by every Chaos Bolt that comes out, I'm at 30k ward at one point without low life because the sheer amount of enemies being hit by all these Chaos Bolts and a lot of other mechanics going on in the build that give me ward gain on hit, essentially. I, I literally couldn't move forward, so I had to use Profane Veil because it allows you to move through enemies. And I had to use Transplant in order to get away from these enemies. Now, they probably couldn't have killed me in this instance because they probably couldn't deal enough damage while I was at 12k or, or higher ward, up to 30k. Now, if I didn't pick this one node, I would be hitting so much less and you should not pick this one node until they balance it or make the effects surrounding the build less so because Chthonic Fissure's Chaos Bolts is a very hardware intensive build. It's a very graphically intensive build. So this build is centered around Chthonic Fissure. Now Chthonic Fissure summons spirits. It summons spirits at a high frequency and then you can make there be two Chthonic Fissures that summon twice the amount of spirits in total. And then you can replace 60% of those spirits with Chaos Bolts. Now, if we take a look at the Chaos Bolt skill tree, this summons several projectiles that do those teal red explosions that you see on the ground so often, and they do it often. And what they also do is cast Rip Blood. And what they also do is cast Bone Curse. But what they also do is this node right here, the Seed of Chaos node. Now this, node is true to its name it breaks the game you do not want to spec this node no matter what you do unless you just want certain situations where you completely <laughs> break the game and have zero fps for like for like several seconds it's kind of ridiculous so this gives it a chance to recast when it hits cursed enemies and because warlock is based around generally based around curses as you saw in the clip before all those different enemies that were taking less damage were all cursed. And what we did actually was scale up the area for a lot of these Chaos Bolts. So each Chaos Bolt was probably hitting over 10 units. So statistically, they were very, very likely to proc a recast. So you can imagine it's almost like an infinitely cascading effect if nothing is dying. And that's ridiculous. That's the only way that you can get 30k ward like this at this point in the game. It was, it, I mean, it, it's scary, it, it's scary. If you're playing on softcore, go ahead, break the game. But if you're playing on hardcore, do not touch this node. For the love of God, please don't do it. It's super fun, super fun, but please don't fucking do it.